here I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll show you how I made this um, manipulation or wallpaper and as you can see I again I used a lot of I used a lot of um, light effects and some smoke and uh, fire and all uh, all these effects that you can see here. And well, let's uh, let's start uh, working on this. This will be uh, maybe a bit advanced but i don't think it's too difficult to to make but well let's uh, let's give it a try i'll close this document and start over and i'll start by opening the texture which i'll use as a background for the original psd file i used the original size of the image which is uh, this one but i'll make it smaller because i'm recording the video so i'll use 2000 for the width and uh, lock the aspect ratio and click OK. Now this is my background. I'm not uh, going to unlock it because I will leave it as it is. The only thing I will do is desaturate it a bit. So I'll use a hue saturation adjustment layer. So I'll reduce the saturation slightly, just uh, minus 15. And this is where the, the fun part starts, uh, so to say. I made the main illumination using the lighting effects filter and I used the technique which I already used on other tutorials uh, which consists on making a new layer which I'll name main light and I'll fill this with white pressing alt and backspace you can also do that from edit fill and choose white but that's uh, it's a lot quicker using the keyboard shortcut and I'll change the blend mode of this to multiply and you'll see that the white goes away so this is a this is a cool technique if you want to remove white uh, from an image just to change the blend mode to multiply and everything that's white will go away and I'll turn this into a smart object and that's simply because I will use I will add a filter next and I want to be able to modify that filter because it will turn that into a smart filter and I want to have the, the the ability to change the settings of the filter if I want to so I'll go to render lighting effects and well I don't know why this uh, is saved like that but these are the spotlights that I used I'll reset this uh, let me see if I delete this uh, and do it again so that you can see um, uh, what I want to do, uh, let me choose the default again. Default, okay, this is the default um, spotlight that you get, so you have to use the default style and the light type is uh, set to, to spotlight. I have the number saved here anyways, but I just wanted to show you how I uh, played with this uh, with this spotlight here on the preview. So I'll make a spotlight like this one, place it somewhere here and just click here and drag it there and the numbers that I have for this first one which is bigger are 14 minus 4 minus 3 69 0 and 6 for the ambience now I'll rotate this slightly and notice that it's not rounded but I squeezed it like that because I want the light to be coming from from the top here because that's where the, that dragon was uh, was sitting so just squeeze it a bit like that and make it maybe a bit smaller the smaller you get you make it the the more concentrated the light is and the stronger you will see the effect so if you want a less effect you can make it bigger like that and if you want to squeeze it you can either click on the bottom and drag or click here and squeeze it like that Make it just a bit smaller and squeeze it a little more, like so. Anyway, we can play with the opacity later on, or we can come back here. That's why I want to have a smart filter. And now I'll click here and add another spotlight there. This will be a smaller one. The direction doesn't really matter because we'll make it uh, perfectly round. And the number for this are 6 for the intensity minus 16 for the focus minus 3 69 0 and 6 so these last numbers are the same and this is the light where the woman 
uh, where the woman was sitting. So you can see that spot of light there and this one here. Maybe I want it a bit higher. So now that I have that smart filter, I can uh, double click here and come back to the lighting effects window and make and drag this a bit higher about there and click OK. Now that we have the light, uh, we can move on and let's add some color. So I'll create a new layer and I'll change the blend mode to color, get a soft brush, paint with uh, yellow here. As you can, as you've seen on the preview just a moment ago, I have this part here which is yellow and this one is uh, blue so uh, we will start uh, working on that uh, from now on and I have the exact color value which is 7444 and 00, zero. I'm just uh, paint there but the blend mode is color dodge not color just uh, paint light like that and it's a bit too strong so I'll reduce the opacity to about Let's see, sixty percent. That looks nice, but I want a bigger, a bigger spotlight, so I'll increase the brush size. Uh, something like that. Okay. And let's add the woman. Uh, this is the original image. Um, let me make the thumbnails a bit bigger so you can see them. And I have the. Um, the extracted version here and saved as a PNG. So I'll select that, paste it here, and I'll paste it under that light. I should have added the woman first, but uh, let's let's move on. And let's this name this layer woman. And I pressed Control T to load the free transform and I'll make it smaller. Okay, something like that, a bit smaller, and I'll flip it horizontally. I want her to look right there, and you can see that the light is also uh, matching that, the light on her, on her body. That light there uh, will, uh, is illuminating this part of, the, of her body. And you can paint some shadows there. Uh, what I did is use the, use the um, layer styles. So I activated drop shadow. Uh, let me move the image a bit. So use the, the drop shadow. I will uncheck use global light and increase the distance and increase the size to make it softer. You can also duplicate the layer, uh, use hue saturation, reduce lightness to minus 100 and apply the Gaussian blur filter, filter but this is uh, quicker because you also have the opacity here. So just a faint a shadow, something like that, maybe increase the distance. You can also play with the distance if you just click here and move it around. But something like that. And maybe decrease the opacity to 20 and click OK. And if you want, you can even paint some shadows uh, right there. Let's uh, paint some quick shadows using the brush tool. I think on the original one I didn't paint those shadows, I'm not sure, I don't remember. But you can paint some shadows to make it a bit more realistic. You can see I'm using a really low opacity and flow. Just so that it looks at that the woman is sitting on something. There's that uh, shadow there and let's move on and add that dragon the dragon is on a is a ps uh, is a png file so you don't have to extract it there are several um several uh, positions because this is a pack and i use layer 9 um, from that pack so i'll open that copy it and let's paste it above the woman and above the light. And 
let's move it on his position here have to flip it horizontally like that and I'll make it maybe a bit smaller not too much though like that now let's name this layer dragon let's put it here I'll make it just a bit smaller like so you can use uh, smart objects because if you make it too small and later on you, know, you don't like it like I see right now it's a bit too small let's leave it like that you can resize it up without losing quality so that's uh, that's why smart objects are are useful and I'll create a layer mask for this because I don't like the tail or whatever this thing here is on the back so I'll use the brush tool I'll use a hard brush increase the opacity to 100 and the flow as well and start masking Like so, you don't have to use any selection tool, just uh, paint with the brush, zoom in and paint with the brush like that. I'm just going to go a bit uh, fast now, just uh, want to delete that tail there. You can be more careful and go and have better edges. Okay, and there as well, and all this part here. If you press the shift key, like I'm doing now, you can click on one point, press and hold the shift key, click there on another point, and that way you, you draw straight lines. And I'll use the polygonal lasso tool. You can keep using the brush, but I have this big area which I separated from the rest of the body. You can select that and fill it with black, and it's gone. So now that we don't have that tail there, uh, we can we can move on and the first thing I want to do next is create the shadow but uh, I will apply the, the layer mask because I know I will no longer have want to have that tail there so I'll, I apply the layer mask now I can make the shadow of the dragon you can use it you can uh, make the shadow the same uh, the same way as it, you did with the woman but uh, we have to delete some things uh, from that shadow so I'll use another technique which consists on uh, duplicating the layer. And I'll change the name to Dragon Shadow and press Ctrl U to load the hue saturation adjustment and decrease the lightness to minus 100. And that way, if I deactivate the dragon layer, you will see that I have the silhouette of the dragon. And I'll use the Move tool and move it. Oops, select the Dragon Shadow first and move it slightly like that uh, this will be the shadow and we'll go to filter blur and gaussian blur and apply a few pixels of blur uh, depends on on your taste uh, let's see and also on the size of the canvas that you have i'll use about five pixels and i'll decrease uh, the opacity to about uh, let's see 25 percent and maybe I'll apply the Gaussian blur filter again pressing ctrl F just to soften that shadow a bit more and maybe move it there okay so this is my shadow and what I need from this shadow is just the head this part here and the shadow on the wing I don't need the legs uh, so I'll create a layer mask and mask that and I will paint uh, those shadows manually so mask this part and also this one and only leave the shadow here on the hair uh, I mean on the head sorry on this uh, part here and also on the wing and I'll create a new layer 
and I'll name it Dragon Shadow 2. Get the brush tool. I use a soft brush, a low opacity brush. Let's see about 25 for both the opacity and the flow. And let's see, uh, let's paint some shadow. And I also, I would also even uh, mask that part here. So I'll go on the dragon layer, create the layer mask and mask this part. As I can see here, I don't like it. I only want to have the claws of this. Uh, Okay, that looks a lot better. And I'll go back to the Dragon 2 on a Dragon Shadow 2 layer. Lower the opacity back to 20%. Increase the brush size and make it soft. And just uh, paint a few shadows here. And the body right here where the, this part. The reason why I masked the shadows on that outer layer is because they're not too realistic. I wanted to create the illusion that the dragon is um, actually touching uh, the the wall there. That's why I masked it. And I'll create uh, the shadow myself using the brush tool. So just uh, create some soft shadows there. You don't have to be very precise here, but uh, do your best anyway. And the, sh the shadow right here is a bit stronger, that's why I'm painting over the existing one. And also here, I'll increase the brush size. Okay, so that's that's my shadow. I will deactivate this layer so you can see the before and after. So that's the before, that's the after. And I'll show you only the shadow. Uh, this was uh, without the masking and this uh, is after the masking and with the shadows that I painted. I think it looks a lot better this way. Well, now that we have the shadows and we have the, the basic uh, setup here, let's start um, blend all this uh, the dragon and the woman with the background and add those uh, effects and I'll start with the dragon so open the layer styles for the dragon well actually let's add the fire first uh, we add some I added some fire effects there and I'll open uh, I'll open this stock image and I'll copy it close it put this image under the dragon like that and I'll change the blend mode to screen so that the black uh, the black background goes away and I only, I only had that uh, fire effect those sparks and I'll make it I'll make this image smaller like so do it again something like that and I'll rotate it and just uh, place it here I'll create a layer mask and mask this part here. I'll make sure the opacity and the flow are at 100%. Mask, mask that part and move it there. Like that. And what I will do is paste that image again and make it a bit smaller than the other one because I want to have some fire there on that uh, leg and change the blend mode to screen again and let's see how I can flip this vertically like that and zoom in 
and put some fire there as well make it just a bit smaller and you can use the warp tool uh, to position this however you want just don't distort it too much and I'll use actually I'll use the the dragon itself to mask it so control and click the dragon layer and now I will inverse the selection pressing control shift and I and now I can mask that like so you can just you can simply use the layer mask I uh, the brush tool sorry uh, so if the you cannot uh, do that selection and inverse it and all that kind of things okay I'll have some fire effects here as well to refine the mask using the brush because I don't like this part here okay and I'll use yet another fire a stock image this one to add more particles over the dragon I'll copy this part I want this uh, all the sparks here and this time I'll paste it above the dragon layer and change the blend mode to screen again and press ctrl T to load the free transform and rotate it like that and just have some particles there uh, like so and maybe use hue saturation to make them a bit more yellow because they are too red okay something like this and now I have the dragon but we need to make him uh, fit because it's too blue and it's all surrounded by fire and that uh, yellow light effect that we painted there so we need to fix the color of the dragon and I did that using layer styles so you can open the layer styles for the dragon layer and I'll go to color overlay I'll use the color I have the color code but you can use a a color uh, that you like. The code for this color is 827864. So you can see it's a really unsaturated color. I want it to match more or less the, the color of the wall and also the fire. So I use the yellow color and click OK. Change the blend mode to hard light. Uh, where are you? Hard light. Here. So that changes the color just uh, slightly. And then I went to gradient overlay. I used a 90 degree angle, a linear gradient. So the colors for the shadows are a dark yellow like this. And for the highlights, A brighter yellow like that one and click OK and that way we have the dark part here and here where the fire and all and that light comes from this part is a bit brighter that's why I use the this angle and set the blend mode to, um, to overlay and reduce the opacity to 50% and that makes that increases the contrast a bit and uh, if you think it's too dark you can uh, you can move that gradient uh, let's see if I, if I can move that gradient or increase the scale and you should be able to move it but I don't know why not I cannot do that right now you can move the gradient up and down but anyway let's uh, let's leave it like that I just increase the scale to 150 percent and more st uh, layer styles I added um, inner shadow and again I use the custom color the code is C8 uh, here on the bottom C8 A973 another yellow color and I used the color dodge blend mode I use color dodge a lot for this kind of light effect and for the distance I use uh, 16 pixels Again, these uh, these values are for the original canvas size. So this for this one, might, it, this might be a bit uh, too much. We'll see. Twenty nine for the for the size, and you see we add a bit more light on the dragon. So it adds light uh, where the where, right there where the fire is, and 
if you can you can increase the the size and the distance if you want to if you want to have a softer effect you can increase the size so let's leave it to 29 and the distance to 15 or something like that so that's all the layer styles for the dragon uh, click OK and I'll show you a before and after so without any layer styles and with the layer styles now you can see it, it blends a lot better uh, with the background and with the fire and with the light effects and if you think uh, it's too dark um, on some places you can create the clipping mask layer and let's name this uh, painted light change the blend mode to color dodge again and use a, a really unsaturated dark tone of uh, yellow I just sample from the from the wall here and use the brush tool use a soft brush and let's lower the opacity to 50 and the flow as well and just paint uh, some light on the dragon make the brush a bit smaller and I'll increase the opacity just a bit just paint some light effects uh, on places where you want to have more light like so and here on the nose as well just a bit because the head was a bit uh, too dark and if you want more uh, color you can use the hue saturation and increase the saturation uh, like so again and I'll change this to 25 or maybe 40 so just uh, added a bit more light but it's too strong you can decrease the opacity or use levels to darken it okay let's let's move uh, to the woman layer and I didn't do too many adjustments on the woman I just added a gradient map as a clipping mask because I wanted to I wanted this uh, gradient map to only affect the woman layer and I used as I said I have the right side of the image this one is uh, has some blue light there and this one is yellow so for the shadows I'll use um, a dark blue and the color code for this one is 1B2425 so dark cyan and for the highlights some yellow and you can use uh, you can actually use this one uh, and I'll do just that you can use this default one and just change the and change the shadow Like that click OK click OK and change the blend mode to color and reduce the opacity to let's see about 30% and you can see that it adds a bit more yellow maybe let's reduce it to 25 or 20 let's leave it to 25 the opacity of this gradient map so what I did next is create that uh, light that blue light on the woman's body because I will add another uh, effect just like uh, I did here with the yellow light uh, that yellow light behind the dragon I'll do the same here on the on the woman and I'll have to create a clipping mask layer above the gradient map so create a new layer press alt put the, the mouse between the two layers and click or just uh, right click and select uh, create clipping mask I'll name this cyan light I'll change the blend mode to color dodge. I'll get a soft brush. I'll increase the opacity and the flow to 100%. And I'll paint some light here, but I'll have to choose the color. And the color that you that you use here, it's uh, as I said, is a cyan light. But since I'm using the color dodge, you have to use a dark tone of this color. I don't know exactly how dark because that depends on how many light you have here and what colors and mainly depends on the contrast that you have but you have to just uh, try different different color and uh, different color illuminations uh, so brightness uh, levels should I say and I want a more saturated one so as you can see it's not looking too nice if I just do this it's not looking nice so I have to try uh, 
Okay, this one looks better. So just have to paint on the outside of the woman's uh, on the woman's edges uh, from of the body. So just like that. We'll have to refine this, but just uh, use a soft brush for the moment, just like this. And also here on on her dress, like so. Can use the eraser later but just uh, do this right now oops i'll use this, a bigger brush so i'll get a softer result okay something like that and now i'll use the use the, the eraser i'll use a soft eraser and take away some of the effect here I'll increase the brush size. The bigger the brush, the softer the result because as you can see, I'm not painting over it just uh, on the side. I just want to have that uh, soft uh, side of the brush hitting the hitting the that light. And well, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, maybe I'll use a low opacity brush and just uh, add some more effect. Uh, right, so it's not looking too nice. Let's let's leave it like that. And now I have to create that uh, light there, but uh, we'll create that on top of everything. So create a new layer. Um, change the blend mode to color dodge because we are almost uh, done. And use the same color. Use a soft brush, a big soft brush, and just paint some colors. Uh, you have to use a really big brush. Like so, oops, and just paint on the outside like that and make it smaller and paint like that. And now change the color to a dark orange to add some colors on the dragon side, like that. Maybe you can even try um, some green or other colors that you that you may like. I tried to keep the same. Uh, so it's not looking nice. Tried to keep the same two colors. So I just use the uh, yellow and blue. Oh, that doesn't look too nice. A darker tone and okay. So that's that's the light effects that I added. I wanted a, I want a bit more of blue here. Something like that and a brighter one for the spotlight Which I'll paint right here and for some general adjustments you can use a, a Gradient map, but well, let's add that smoke first um, I use this um, stock image and Just uh, place it. I'll place it under this lights, which I'll name Color lights. I'll paste that smoke here. Change the blend mode to screen again because I don't need that black background. I just need the smoke. And just uh, place some smoke there. I'll duplicate it and move it here and spin it around and place it maybe here. I just need uh, a bit of smoke there. Like so. And one thing I forgot to add is some fire here on the sword. Uh, I'll go back to the woman layer. And I used this stock image. Um, copied this part. And I'll select the woman and paste it uh, between the gradient map and the cyan light or wherever you want. Just paste, paste it as a clipping mask. And I'll have to make it way smaller. Rotate it around, and I just wanted to have some some of this uh, uh, fire of the flames here on the sword. So I'll change the blend mode to screen again, and move it around. As you can see, I have this as a clipping mask. I'll make it smaller so that they only show up over the woman. And let's spin it like that. 
I don't have this shapes here of the of the sword. And I'll create a layer mask and so this uh, sword here is uh, looking better now. And I also used uh, this other stock image, and I copied uh, part of it. We can use any fire that you like. Paste it there, make it smaller, and change the blend mode to screen. Make it smaller still, something like that. Use a, another layer mask and just mask everything that is not that is not what you want. Okay, so that's the fire there on this on that sword there. So let's uh, move on with the with that gradient map that I was talking about. Um, so add a gradient map, and I used um, this one, and set the blend mode to soft light, and decrease the opacity to about twenty percent, uh, maybe even less. Let's add fifteen. And let's add some hue saturation, maybe, and bump the saturation to. Well, actually, let's leave uh, saturation as it is because it's already saturated. Let's add some levels to to add more brightness because in some parts the image is too dark. So I'll increase the mid tones just a bit and the highlights. And the midtones a bit less. So I increase the highlights. And let's leave the midtones to one, maybe one point zero five. So that's all for uh, for this tutorial. I hope you like the outcome. If you have any questions or if you get stuck somewhere, you can uh, you can post a comment on YouTube or you can also visit my website. There's a link on the video description that uh, will take you to to the website to my website. Um, there's a text version of this uh, tutorial if you want to follow it. So until next time, uh, this is Andre from PSD Box. Thank you for watching and see you on my next tutorial.